obviously, you know, when we used to go to Lake St. Clair or someplace like that, you know, these are the baits we had. Jerk baits, spinner baits, tubes, and Carolina rigs. Caught all the smallmouths I ever wanted to catch. Never had a problem catching smallmouths, okay? Now, when I go to St. Clair, I probably have those four baits tied on. So, you know, I don't even have these tied on necessarily anymore. Is it right or wrong? Are the small mouse down there going, man, wrong. I'm not biting that. I'm only biting these now. That's, no, no. It's just, it's just the way you get going. So now instead of carrying eight boxes, now I've got to carry 16 or 20 boxes of stuff. It gets a little confusing. I'm going to try to tell you the pros and cons. And really, in fishing, pick your strengths. Everyone here knows when they look at that list, there's a certain technique that, hey, that's the way I like to fish. And that's, I'm going to go through the ones the way I like to fish, and we'll go uh, and pick the ones you like and, and see what applies to you. All right, jerk baits, man. This is uh, the, the, the first, it's like the number one thing for a smallmouth. Smallmouth are aggressive. Smallmouth love to chase things. They love things erratic under the water. A jerk bait fits all that. Now, if we're talking about largemouth fishing versus smallmouth fishing, the first thing I would say when you look in your box, and you can look with these lures, is I want gaudy for smallmouths. I want ugly. I want bright. I don't want to match any hatch. If every, if every fish in the lake is eating a perch colored uh, jerk, you know, a bait, a smallmouth, I probably want an all chartreuse one or an all orange one. I just want to make it ungodly out, you know, stand out from the rest when I'm fishing smallmouths, okay? And that's going to go with all our lures we're going to talk about. But with a jerk bait, it starts with, you know, these are two of my, I mean, I, I, I just, these are personal favorites. This one is like purple, orange, and, and chartreuse. This one is orange with chartreuse stripes. I mean, it's just gaudy. I don't think you can get anything too ugly for a smallmouth, okay? You have to pique their interest first, and then they'll chase it down, okay? And that's the difference. That's the big difference when I'm throwing the two. You can go to deep diving ones, you know, deep diving jerk baits. You can go to the shallower running jerk baits. Really doesn't matter. Normally, you don't need to go down to them. Like a largemouth, if he's out in eight feet of water and you're throwing a jerk bait, you better get that jerk bait down to eight feet. He's not coming to get it. A small mouth sitting in eight feet and you can jerk it in a foot and a half and they'll come and get it. Totally different approach to fishing. Okay? So jerk baits, when we talk about that, we're going to talk about bright. We're going to talk, usually, I don't know if you've ever seen Kevin Van Dam and some of those guys work a jerk bait. I mean, it's as fast as you can jerk it. And the smallmouth love it. So I'll go to sometimes a 7 to 1 or 8 to 1 reel. And just, you're not even jerk, you're just making it dart as fast as you can. And that's totally different than a largemouth. We are fishing largemouths, we just want it lazy, just super lazy out there. Totally different retrieves. So those... The two things about a jerk bait that I, I always remember, color and retrieve. And that can change hourly, daily, minute, whatever. Start real gaudy and start real fast for small mouse and go from there, okay? That'll give you a good, good clue. Normally I'm using fairly light line on jerk baits, eight, 10, 12 pound line, not real heavy line, but yeah, those are the things, colors. Moving into spinner bait, you got the same idea. Gaudy, bright, draw attention to itself. I've been on, you know, Thousand Islands up in New York, and you can see 20 feet down. It's pretty calm. You know, nothing. Some currents blowing by. It's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. You will learn things at Bash U that you will learn nowhere else. We take the mystery and the myths out of bass fishing. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. At Bass U TV, shoes are optional. And I like turtles. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.